How you doing guys? Um, in one of my last videos I showed you a quick shot or a distant shot of the boat that I said was taking up some of my time this summer and here it is. What is it? It is a 1958 Crestliner runabout. It has the four foot bow. They came in three styles. Four foot bow, two foot bow, and no bow. Uh, this one happens to be a four footer so it did come with a helm. I do have all the benches for it. They're in the sh they're in the shed actually. I do have the tiller steer bench that's supposed to go over there and the transom wood. It's all going to get all the wood's going to be replaced with mahogany. The boat originally, I'm going to just pan back here for a second. I'm going to roll a picture of what the boat looked like the day I bought it. I did not buy it with a trailer. It came just as it. So here's the boat. So as you can see the boat was blue and white, it's not the original colors. The original color of the boat is supposed to have a red bow with the hull painted red under the rub rail. Everything else is supposed to be polished. This boat is in really good shape. There was one ding dent in it over here, uh, basically that first shiny spot right there. There was a ding dent right there. I took the hammer and the dolly and took it out as much as I could and then I'll just sand it nice and smooth. I did start to polish it a little bit when I first got it right there in the corner. Um, there's really no major gouges or scratches in the aluminum. It's all in pretty good shape. Nothing that I can't file out and then polish. Uh, I did start sanding the side of the boat with 600 grit. And as you can see, that thing is pretty darn straight for an aluminum boat. The trailer is a 1959 Holes Claw trailer. I found that locally for 150 bucks. The original colors of the trailer are blue with tan fenders, tan rims, and the roller beds tan. Clearly those are not the original rims and tires. I have a set of original rims and tires for it. So that's all going to get done. The thing that's really cool about the trailer, which I love about these old boat trailers, is number one you get the trailing arms. You never see that. And then, then the shock absorber set up is really cool. It's got dual coil springs and an actual shock absorber. And let me tell you, I pulled this trailer out from underneath a bush. I mean, literally, a bush was growing through it. I drove it home and it was perfectly smooth. I haven't even done the bearings on the trailer yet. I mean, this thing rides so smooth. And it has, it's like, you couldn't even, well, the trailer that I bought it home on was my buddy's little trailer which was leaf sprung, you know, your classic Chinese trailer. That thing was the biggest piece of crap. This thing is amazing. I can't wait to redo it. The boat is 14 foot. The maximum horsepower is 35. So this thing will scoot. I have a vintage windshield for it. I have the helm for it. Uh, basically just gotta sit down and do it. But here, I'm gonna show you the motor right now. To the garage. Um, as usual, we're back in the shop. So what I have for the boat is a 1957 Johnson Seahorse 35. Um, I got the boat motor out of New Jersey. Uh, so I did have to drive a little bit to get it, but this one's really nice. I mean, the, the compression is ridiculous. It is a rope start only. I'm thinking about converting it to an electric start. One of the cool things is it did come with a tiller steer, which is not the most common item you would find on a big twin or a larger twin, I guess you would call it, um, motor. But I gravity fed it and it started right up. So, but it needs it needs like some classic old outboard. It doesn't have a lot of hours on it. It is a little scraped up here and there, but. The compression is incredible. The carburetor looked really nice and clean inside. I just need to do a quickie cleanup on it. And, you know, I'm going to replace the water pump impeller. Um, just some general maintenance. And then I'm going to refresh up, I think, the, the tan only, just like in a few spots, just to make it look a little cleaner. Keep all the original uh, sides. And uh, the emblem was a little... Is a little beat up. I know those are pretty expensive to get new, but that's what the plan is. All 
All right. Thank you for your interest. And, um, you know, if you guys want to see more about the boat project, by all means, let me know. I don't mind showing this stuff. I mean, I do it because I'm interested in it. And if you're interested in it, I thank you very much.